So are you guys going to go see this movie? And if you're a fan of the comic books, hit me up in the comments section and let me know what you're hoping to see in this movie. What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at RedMatterSite.com. And today we're going to talk about this track, Sucker for Pain. It features ex-ambassadors, Imagine Dragons, Logic, Lil Wayne, Wiz Khalifa, and Ty Dolla Sign, and it's off of the upcoming Suicide Squad soundtrack. So the whole theme of this seems to match up with the characters from the movie because it just touches on insanity, anxiety, restlessness, and just being a sucker for pain like the title says. So I thought it was a pretty cool idea for a song overall. And I'm just going to break down these verses right quick, but before I do that, all I have to say is the lead singer from Imagine Dragons handles the hook, and then the lead singer from X Ambassadors just sings a little thing on the outro. So there wasn't anything special there, but I did think it sounded all right. And the beat was also dope too. It kind of has a chronic 2001 feel to it because of the guitar plucks and the bass line. And it also makes use of some organ. So it wasn't a beat that blew me away, but I thought it was pretty solid. But as for these verses, Wiz Khalifa is easily the most forgettable, which I guess is why they put him on at the end. And Ty Dolla Sign kicks it all off, and he doesn't really do anything that's out of the ordinary, but I thought he sounded good because he matched up the theme of the song, and he also had some nice melodies as well. Now, as for Logic, he comes through with some sing-songy flows, and he's just singing, or rapping, sing-rapping, whatever you want to call it, about loyalty. And then he comes through with the line where he says something about rolling with his team, and they're the illest on the scene. And I couldn't believe that he said that shit, because that is some elementary bars to the max. Like, that is the shit that people write the first time they ever write a verse. So Logic basically just showed up on this track, and it doesn't even seem like he was trying too much, I guess because he got his money, and it's just something for a soundtrack. But Lil Wayne shows up on this shit and blows away the competition. First of all, he's not doing any auto-crooning, and he also starts off his verse with some really dope alliteration, so I like the flows that he was doing on here, and he just sounded great overall. And not only that, but he also seems to be touching on his personal issues a bit, because he brings up how he's dying slow and is a fool for the pain, so it kind of seems like he's talking about how he won't stop sipping lean despite all these seizures that he's having. So I thought that was one of the most solid Wayne verses that I heard in a little while, and it just goes to show you when Wayne is an auto-crooning about pussy and other bullshit, he can actually spit some fire bars. So at the end of the day, I thought this was an alright track. I gave it a 3 out of 5. Little Wayne stole the show. Everybody else just kind of showed up to do what they normally do but not really put much effort in and I think it was all right so you guys can hit me up in the comment section to let me know what you think and make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff man where you like my videos you share them you follow me on Twitter you retweet the videos and you especially subscribe to my channel thank you for watching everybody I will see you next time